Okay, today I've got a great hack for you to help identifying your fly lines when they're on the reels. Okay, we've all had it happen. You get a fly line, you put it on your reel or your spool, and then two years later or a year later, you pull that out and you can't remember what the fly line was. Now, there are a couple ways to identify the fly lines once you've put them onto your reels. Probably the one most everybody's familiar with is you would get the tag that comes on the packaging of the fly line and you would take that and somehow stick it on the reel or the spool or somewhere on the inside you could even uh, stick it on the real bag if you wanted, the real case. Problem is, these little stickers are already stuck on once. When you pull them off and stick them on something else, they tend to fall off. So I don't like that method. If you have some of the newer fly lines, like these scientific anglers, they have printed on the fly line what the, what the line actually is, which is nice if you're 20 years old and you can see like a hawk. I can't. So unless I have my readers and want to take that out, this is not a good option to identify fly lines. So here's the way I do it, and I've done this for a few years now. It's a, it's a fantastic way to identify your fly lines once they come out of the packaging and make it onto your reel. All right, so what I've got here is one of my Stillwater cases for fly lines, or for, for reels with fly lines on them. And what I've done is I've taken this sticker that I'll show you in a second, and I've labeled all of my reels and spools. The beauty of this is I can go through this and I can see, okay, I've got uh, Scientific Angler's Amplitude Smooth Infinity Taper six weight line that's on this reel. The nice thing about the way this works is that once you buy a reel and you put a fly line on it, you probably won't be taking that line off the reel very often. So that's why I tend to like to label the reels that have the fly line. So if I ever do need to switch a line to a different reel, I can just pull the sticker off or create a new one. All right, so the way this works is you're gonna to go to Amazon or your uh, local Walmart, and you're gonna get some of these Avery no iron fabric labels. They come in little sheets with these little label size stickers that are essentially waterproof. So once you write on these labels, that typically does not wash off. I use, I use a Sharpie to write them on there. So if I get a new line, let's say, in this instance, I've got a new Sage reel that I got a few weeks ago, and I've put a new line on it. Rio has some new midge tips. I wanted to give those uh, new midge tips a try. It's got a longer uh, sinking section for this midge tip. So I put it on the line. I've actually fished it a couple times. Now I'm just getting around to wanting to label that and as it would work, the line itself is not labeled, so at this point I would have no idea. And for me, if I put this on two days later, I'm gonna forget what line it is. So, I'm gonna grab my reel in its case, and I'm going to take my handy label sheet, and again, I like to use a Sharpie. I like these dual ones because it has a fine point, and I'm going to write what line this is. All right, so now I've written the line designation, just pulled it from the box that I had it in, and it's going to be a sticker now on this sheet, which is adhesive. You simply pull this off, and then I like to put mine on the bottom of the, the reel case. Like that. So now I've got the labeling done. You typically want to allow this to dry because if you don't it'll smear. Now I've got this line on this reel. It's all labeled up. Stick it in my reel case with the, mess, less, the rest of my reels and spools. If you have spools it's the same concept. Anywhere you have a line on a reel or a spool you can label it up. And then I usually just take this little batch of uh, labels and I keep that in my reel case. So that's in there, I stick it on the side of my reel case. And if you want, you can just keep your Sharpie in there as well. So that way if you are out and about, and you, let's say you break a line or you decide to switch one and you're away from home or wherever, you still have the means to take uh, the label, make a new one, put it on there. Anyway, so it's a great way to 
label your lines and know what your lines are for the duration of the time you'll have them. You can quickly identify what you need, pull that out and you're good to go. Anyway, nice little hack I found that works great for me. If you like this, like the video, subscribe to us, check us out at flyfishfood.com and we'll see you on the water.